Good morning guys. Today I want to share how I prepare cut tulips and create a corseted vase. So let's get started. I'm just going to go ahead and undo the flowers. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and scoot the base out of the way for a moment here. And we'll go ahead and make a mess here. Get some water all over the place and uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to do some pruning in here. Alright, so the first thing that I do is I tear off some of the lower foliage. So we're just going to peel that away because we don't want that in the water because then they end up rotting in the water and that's not good. I want to keep the water as clean as possible. That way the flowers stay fresh. I do love roses as well, but you know, nothing beats a beautiful hot pink tulip for me. Now that all the lower foliage is removed, I'm just going to grab a nice sharp pair of scissors here and we're going to trim about an inch off of the bottom here and I'm going to cut it at an angle because the goal is to get a nice fresh cut, a nice sharp cut that is able to drink up as much water as possible so you want as much surface space as possible. So I'm just going to angle that and give it a snip. And you can use a sharp knife, sharp scissors, whatever you have around. It's not a big deal. Now I'm grabbing my vase of water and I'm going to add the flower food. So what I usually do is take about a half packet and pour that in. I think they recommend on the packet to just use the whole thing, but I tend to usually just start with half and then when I add fresh water, then I add the other half. So I like to freshen the water usually, oh, probably every other day or so. Unless you unless you notice that it's getting, you know, really cloudy or kind of dirty looking, then you want to freshen it up right away. So just stir in that flour food. Now I'm ready to add my flowers. So I'm just going to place these in one by one, keeping an eye on the foliage. If there's any that drops below the water line, then I'm going to go ahead and take that out and peel it off. We don't want any foliage in that water. I always like to have the taller ones in the center and kind of have the shorter ones towards the outer part of the vase. And there's our beautiful vase of tulips. Now, I'm not going to leave it at that. I've got something else that I want to do, but you know what? First, let me clean up this mess. And I'm going to go compost all these. Oops. <laughs> Throwing all the stems all over the place. And I will be right back after I clean up to show you what's next. Now, this is a beautiful vase of tulips all on its own, but I want to add a little fun to it. So I'm going to be decorating the vase with a ribbon, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to decorate a tall cylindrical vase like this. This is about six yards, I would guess, and I'm using this Debbie Lily ribbon. This is double, double face satin ribbon, and I'm just going to, I'm just grabbing the ends, and I'm just making sure that I'm going to be centered. Okay, so there we go. I know I have the center. So I'm just gonna wrap that around the back and bring the ends around the front and twist them like so. So I'm just wrapping it around the back, twisting it, bringing it to the front, crossing them over, twisting, and just keep on repeating. So I'm just bringing it to the back, twisting it, bringing both sides around. Cross and twist, and bring it back to the back side again. I'm just going to repeat till I make it all the way down to the bottom. And then once I make it all the way down to the bottom, I just tie a bow to lock it into place. Now I'm going to seal the ends of my ribbon, and typically I would have done this ahead of time, but I forgot, so I'm just taking my lighter. And I'm going to run that along the edge of the ribbon there. And that just seals the end so you don't get any frame. And then just make any final adjustments to your ribbon and decide where you want to place it. I'm probably going to place mine on my mirrored drawers. 
just gonna grab this out of the way. Sometimes I have a plant in here, but not today. And there we have a beautiful vase of hot pink tulips with white tips. Look at those, how beautiful is that? In a corseted vase with hot pink ribbon. Ah, just looking at that just lifts my heart. It just makes me so happy. Little things make me happy, and that's a good thing. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I guess uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, which probably is going to be today by the time I get this uploaded, so happy Valentine's Day. And if I could, I would send each and every one of you one of these vases just to brighten your day just like it has mine. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.